Hey everybody, we're going to do a review on the McCulloch 1375. So first thing, I've used this before and today I just uh, unpackaged it again. What it takes is 48 ounces of water to fill up. So once you fill it up, you put your cap on, you plug it in, you wait for it to boil after your switch is on and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll get up. All right, so while I'm waiting for it to boil up, uh, real simple. Uh, switch on the side, turn it on. This is going to tell you what the pressure is at. So obviously it's got to move up to probably more the yellow. This is just your pressure gauge to adjust how much pressure you had. I have it set almost at like all the way. This is your wand with the trigger. And then you're going to get an end piece like this that just, you can attach it directly to the wand or to the stick. What I found with the stick was that it was bending on me as I was pressuring a lot of things on. So I just took a hockey stick and, and did it like that. That way I could add a, lo a lot more pressure because what's gonna happen is this is gonna bend on you. So some kind of support would be pretty good, especially if you really wanna get in there. And there's, they come with a bunch of different ones that you'd wanna do as far as uh, hardwoods and it has a big wand on it on the end of it if you wanna use it. For cleaning grouts, these are the best. This one, and then this piece here, I use just to kind of go over the tile to clean it up very well. But this brass one is very good. Now, for you Canadians out there, McCulloch online, if you go to the website, doesn't allow you to use your Canadian credit card and have it shipped to Canada. So what I did was, I did an order. I kind of took a screenshot of it. I sent it to McCulloch. And I said, uh, listen, uh, what can I do as far as getting these items shipped to? I had a relative in the States. Instead of doing that, you can probably uh, contact the UPS closest to your border, get a box. And this is after you contact McCulloch. And what you can say is, I'm gonna send you a US money order for this. And that's what they did for me. They said, no problem, US money order cleared. And I have a ton of these ones here going forward because you're going to go through a lot of these as far as the grill cleaner. So what we're looking for is in the green section. I don't want it to go into the yellow. It says once it's in the green, it's ready to go. So it looks like it's ready to go right now. It probably took about 15 minutes uh, to get all of it. So it wasn't bad, you know. Um, so what we're going to do here is this section here is really bad. You can see the last time I did it, I was more concentrating on this. This is the natural color of it. So to really show you what this product can do, I'm going to try to get this right here. Now, before I start, I'm going to get somebody to put their foot on here because I don't want it to scratch the wood here. So if my camera person will be kind enough to stand up and go on the other side, put a foot on each side. So what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on this one. Really simple to use. All you do is pull the trigger. This hose could be a little delicate, so I wouldn't pull too much on it. And on the other end, I've seen them rip right at the base. So just be careful with it. All right, so we're gonna see how it goes. If I wanted to, to really concentrate on a place like this, I, w I shouldn't even use the handle. So I'm gonna take this guy off. And I'm just gonna use the base for this because this is just one little section that I'm gonna use, and I wanna concentrate, and I don't wanna wreck that wood like I said. So I'm gonna do this one by hand, really getting in here, okay? It's got a lock on it if you want. It's ready to go. Let me just get a, I should have had a towel. Clean this up. So, as you can see, that is a pretty good job right there. Didn't take too long, took it right off. Brass piece on, but like I warn you, you'll probably go through a lot of these ones. This one's a delicate area. Once I get into here, I'll be able to go to the, the big wand and be doing it upright. Here, because it's delicate, right up against the wood, we're gonna have to do a little piece at a time and just making sure I get it right. Clean the bare wood right after. 
You don't want too much water on there. But as you can see, that works out pretty good. So I'm gonna continue doing this. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you on how to do the big sections and how the wand works. All right, guys. So defect number two, aside from the wand that I saw, this wand here just keeps popping this thing out. I guess this is a pressure fit. This is where the pressure comes out. You didn't have this, you're gonna go through water like, like uh, going out of style. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some of this uh, uh, white plumber's tape from our friends at the Falcos, and I'm gonna wrap it in, and I'm gonna pressure fit it inside. All right, everybody. So no combination of tape would keep this thing in. It would just keep popping out. So the only thing that I could tell you to do is what I did was, I screwed very tiny holes that I could on each side. I got some screws. I screwed it in, being tender that you don't wreck the brass. And you take that brass piece out when you're drilling these holes, then push it in. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna screw it in tight so it kind of like pressure fits against that. Take a hacksaw, cut that off, and that's it. That, then it will never come off because it doesn't matter if you hot glue it or this or that. Maybe if you had some epoxy, but you could gum it up. So I find it just like this, tighten it up. That way there's a pressure fit on both sides. These are rigid on the other side, so it probably won't slip. So that's probably the only thing that I could think of. If it keeps slipping, I'm gonna keep drilling some holes and keep pushing it in. So I think that's the best bet. almost out of, out of uh, water and it's been running pretty good it's a 45 minute runtime steady uh, so I'm just gonna fill it up so that way there I can probably finish the whole thing in one shot so what you have to do is turn it off do not open this up right now because it's probably hot after you turn it off just push, push this trigger and let the steam come out of the bottom and you just keep going once you hear that cool off then I'd recommend get a rag or something. Be very careful on doing this because it's going to be hot. This is releasing all the steam. Once that's done, you can fill it back up to whatever you like. Uh, remember, it's a 48 ounce tank. I don't know how much is there now. So you just got to uh, judge and then tighten it back up, kick it back on. 20 minutes, it should be steamed up, ready to go again. All right, so my conclusion on this, it's a really good machine. The only thing is you're going to go through these brass ends like butter so probably to do this whole floor which probably has about um, I would estimate about 800 square feet of tile I'd probably go through easily two of these things to really be on the conservative side I had a couple of older pieces that I went through but what you probably want to do is concentrate a brand new piece in really heavy trafficated areas that you want to really keep clean such as next to your sink or uh, going into your patio or your back hall that has a lot of dirt in it. So uh, just concentrate on those places first and then use the rest throughout. The, the square piece that we have on this will last you a little while longer because you're not rubbing as much. You're just doing the whole surface. But I'm pretty happy with the machine. It runs for a very long time. And uh, the only thing I can say is stock up on those pieces. And I've already told you how to order those if you're Canadian. If you're American, you call the 1-800 number and they'll ship it right to you. Well, I find it's a really good machine. So it's available through Amazon.ca for 250 bucks. I think it's pretty good. They have a smaller version, but I'd probably opt for going for, for this one. They have an even higher one, but that one's getting into the 300-400 range. So I would recommend this one here, and uh, it's available through Amazon. Thanks for watching.